fellow YouTubers. Very warm welcome to you all. James here once again. And this time, um, a, uh, a very pleasing look through um, a package from America. Uh, and it is um, items sent from Brad uh, and his uh, pipes and kayaks. Um, so without further ado, we'll get straight into it and uh, we'll run through um, the tobaccos first. I have opened the package, um, I was very excited and um, was keen to ensure that everything was in order and um, so it is open and uh, I've had a quick sneak peek at what is inside. Um, uh, so we had a start off there was a splendid, uh, splendid little note which is very very nice and so within the tobaccos have some uh, Arth and Home Black House which I have to admit to having uh, had a bowl full um, of already um, I've had this uh, this came was it three days ago I think now so um, I have indeed had a bit of this and this is a um, a uh, Latakia based blend with Virginia's Orientals and Dark Fried Kentucky uh, Perique and a bit of unflavoured black Cavendish um, uh, so um, it is delicious. I've only had one bowl, and I've, I've really, I'm well not just saying it, but it was lovely, right from um, the charlight onwards. So, uh, so there we are, that's Hearth and Home Black House. No nasty um, health warning stickers either, which is good. Uh, so this next one, which is a, a Grand Oriental pipe tobacco with Latakia. Is um, I don't even know how to say this. Yen Yeniji Highlander. There we are. I think that's how you say it. That's um, how it's spelt, but um, there's no no guarantees there. So that looks very interesting. Um, Love that tin. That's wonderful. Um, I don't know if you can make out the um, some lovely artwork on the uh, on the side there. So that is a, a McLennan's blend. Um, so we'll very much look forward to trying that. So from the Seattle Pipe Club, some. Uh, Puget Sound, I think that's how you say it. Um, again, another uh, splendid bit of uh, tin art. Um, no nasty health warnings on the top there as well, which is good to see. Um, so again, a uh, Virginia, Latakia, Perican Orientals. I think there's a running theme here, Brad. So um, it's uh, all things which uh, I enjoy. So um, again, that will be, uh, I'm sure, another splendid blend. We have some Sam Gareth chocolate flake, and I think. Um, this was one of the first chocolate bends I ever tried, and I do have occasionally, so it's um, uh, one of my sort of um, usuals, really. So, um, pleased to have uh, some more of that in stock. Um, so, yeah, and again, these are all uh, 50 gram tins, so this is more than generous. Um, and even more, um, there's even some of this stuff. A 
50 grams of half and half which I've heard a lot about um, which is uh, burly and bright tobacco as it says and uh, I do love the, uh, the design of this with the uh, I love that. His hat, his tobacco leaf, and his little pipe. So, uh, we should look forward to trying some of that. Again, um, I might add, I haven't actually tried um, any American bl uh, blends at all. Um, not for any other reason than I, I have just haven't been brave enough to to send for any um, because of the. Uh, um, the tales you hear about uh, lost packages or things uh, messed about by uh, um, by customs. Um, so I really need to do it because I think, generally speaking, is is not a problem. But um, so this will probably inspire me to um, to perhaps do some uh, um, some orders. Um, so I mean, I, lo I love the look of a lot of the McClellan blends. Um, and um, so a lot of a lot of the blends you guys talk about across the pond there they all they sound um, they sound delightful. So and there there is more to come still. That's that's all the tobacco, and that that's a serious um, well for me anyway. Um, that is a serious haul of baccy, um, and that's going to keep me going for. Um, I don't know, quite some time. Um, so that's just wonderful. So thanks, Brad. Um, the seller has grown um, considerably. So if that wasn't generous enough, there's also a pipe. And it is a corn cob. A very large corn cob from Missouri Meersham, and indeed my first um, corn cob. And uh, again, I love the. Um, I've got a bit of a thing about the. I don't know whether you can pick out the. Uh, just about, but that's a wonderful um, logo, which I always like to see. And again, it's one of these things um, that uh, I've always thought that perhaps I would like to try a, a corn cob, and I thought, well, really, um, not difficult to get hold of, but just haven't got around to it. So um, this will kickstart, hopefully. Um, a, a collection of, of corn cobs, and uh, I can see, um, fully see the attraction of these things. I do, if I have actually, um, I did dry a, a corn cob with the view of um, attempting to make a, a little pipe from it, but um, uh, it just wasn't big enough basically. And um, if I'd um, turned it down, it probably would have been about the size of a thimble. So. Um, I uh, would be interested to see um, the full process actually um, and I'm guessing the cobs they use are really quite uh, substantial um, and obviously well dried out so yeah I can't remember what shape that is um, but uh, it's uh, nicely balanced ever so light and uh, yeah, nice draw, and uh, I should imagine that's going to be. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it's literally like a chimney, so that's has <laughs> to be at least probably an hour's smoke in there at least. So um, we shall uh, settle down and uh, pack that up with something delicious and uh, enjoy that. So. Lastly, 
some Tom and Jerry pipe cleaners. From uh, uh, but, uh, where do I see it? <sighs> Distributed by Phillips and King. So um, so yeah. All in all, a wonderful package, um, and um, yeah, really, really um, made up and delighted, Brad. Um, I never really quite know what to say in these circumstances, but other than thank you so much, um, it's more than generous of you. Um, I know there was a lot of entrance into the competition, and I think we all had a, a great time um, talking about our favourite uh, um, horror characters, and uh, I was just very, very fortunate and lucky to be uh, pulled out the hat. So. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for, for running the giveaway and um, I should no doubt be um, talking about um, some of these blends. Um, and uh, I'm almost certain I'm going to enjoy them um, because they're all my kind of thing. So um, with that, once again, many thanks Brad and um, I shall uh, leave it there. And um, I should say cheerio for now. And until the next time, keep the cameras rolling and keep the pipes puffing.